All right, guys. Well, <clears throat> this is the uh, the H4 antenna. This is the top hat. It's getting there. Look at the screws and stuff you had to put in this damn thing. There had to been over a hundred of them. There's a there, here's a tip. The thing is wise. You got the coil. I put uh, hot glue melt on each on four corners to keep it from not moving. But th th this 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 will be on there for a long time. Ain't gonna go anywhere. And uh, I got everything perfect. I even shaved these down. Oh, like not even an inch. On the grinding wheel, I got all these straight. This is the center, and then uh, here's the base. This is the uh, the tilt mount. You take this. If I can do this with one hand. Oops! Don't want to lose that screw. This will be mounted on the pipe outside. And you take this and you move it. Oh, I got the screw still in there. You pull the pin out. And this should come right down like this. Like that, the antenna will be hanging down this way. You can work on it, or when the storms come, I can do the hurricanes, I can lower my antenna all the way down. Then, when you want to put it back up, you just close this over here, put your pin, your screw. Shit, I could have made one of these, put it through the hole. I can see the dang thing. Uh, yeah, put it through the hole here. I can get the dang thing in there. Oh, you get, you get what I mean. And then it locks it right in into here. This part here goes to uh, to, 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 to to the hot. This this part's ground, of course, and it requires some radials uh, to the bottom. I'm gonna put it. So it's those two screws down there. I got I got some wire coming, hopefully. And uh, this is going to be a good little performer antenna, I think. It's going to be nice. And uh, I, got, I got all my tubing right here. What's left of the antenna, what to do. There's not much to do. This was the tire, tiresome part right here. It was getting all these, all these radials on there. And there's got to be at least probably two, three hundred volts. There's two bags of bolts just to put these little radials on. And it looks like a Christmas tree. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you gotta flip this around. Oh, like, like this. And there you go. See, that's that's the top part. Then you gotta put the the the, uh, the tubing back up there, and it goes all the way up, and it'll fit right into here and this mount into here. And uh, shit, I hope I don't have the wrong. Okay, yeah, it's right, it's correct. Yeah, everything is all tightened up nice, and then I got all the all the little poles all. In, it's right and square. All square. Uh, put that back up over here. Uh, I don't want this thing to get smacked up, banged up. There we go. And there, there she is. It's pretty cool. And then, yeah, you know, this thing, I gotta figure out how this, uh, this part goes on the hot side. I might get rid of this. I'm gonna put a um, that hard electrical line in here for the hot. It's really heavy duty, and I, I don't not really hot on this this wire. This wire is just kind of a little 
flimsy and I was probably not even soldered on good enough. Yeah, I, I don't I don't like it. But, uh, so that's the scoop on that guys. And this this uh this goes to the bottom down here. And of course it goes up. Then you gotta put the rest of these radials up there. And uh, that, that'll be it right there for this vertical. With the time consuming, it was putting these things together. Man, I tell you, it was a pain in the arse. And, uh, and the rest of this, you just gotta measure each end to get on, I guess. I'm not sure if it's something to do with measuring and make sure the, all the piping are in the right order, obviously. But uh, this is this is it right here. This is the enchilada right here. Today I was using a, a 102 inch whip antenna. I was using it as an experiment. I put a, uh, an old pole out there, five foot, uh, 25 foot pole, with a um, an old mount from an old uh, house antenna, and then. Uh, Put a ground plane kit on it and and, and um, put the spring on and I put the 102 inch whip on there and I think it worked pretty damn good. Five and nine signals with it. I'm really surprised. I mean, sometimes you need a vertical when the bands are really bad and the uh, verticals come in a good place when the sunspot cycle's bad or, or disturbances. These are probably, I guess, pretty, pretty good to use for now. Anyways, just wanted to share you the progress of this antenna I just bought. Returned that other junk that was all bent up and everything. And this thing here was just beautifully straight. No bends, no breaks. And this was $100 cheaper, believe it or not. And the other one, they wanted more money. And then I actually went out and bought the damn freaking tilt mount right here. The mount kit. So you could, I could tilt this when... Uh, you know, like I said, a storm was coming. I'll, I'll pull it down, and not to worry about a thing blowing down or, or getting broke. So, but anyways, guys, 73s, and I uh, figured I'd share this with you. What's cooking in the Adam Sam Radio Shack here? 73. Catch y'all later.